June wrap-up. Here we go. So in the month of June, I had planned to read about five books. Uh, it didn't quite work out that way. Um, I read four out of the five books I had planned to read for about four and a half. So uh, I'll just share with you guys what I read. But first off, actually, I wanted to let you guys know that I have this new rating system. So I thought it was pretty clever, pretty clever with my name. So what I'm going to do from now on when I review books, I'm going to give them demerits for things that I don't like about the books, and I'm going to give them merit badges for whatever I do like about the books. So I thought that was pretty clever, ha ha ha. Um, so anyways, to start off, I read the book Smile, which was a graphic novel by Raina Tel Teljamir, I can't pronounce her last name. But I'm going to show you a picture of the book, seeing as I am actually at my parents' house right now, so I don't have my books with me that I read. And this was part of my book club book, so smile, you can kind of see it there. Anyways, so I really like this graphic novel. I've actually read it before, and technically I didn't read it in the month of June. I actually read it the very last day in May. But this book is about a girl who gets her teeth knocked out and she has to go through junior high and high school with braces and headgear and all kinds of stuff. It's actually the author's story. It's what happened to her throughout junior high and high school. And she also did the artwork as well. So let's start off with uh, demerits. I don't really have any demerits for this one. I th feel like it's a great book. I feel like it's a great graphic novel for, especially for preteens and teenagers because it shows her, these are actually, I'm just gonna go straight into the merit badges. So I feel like it gets a merit badge for artwork, which is very simple, very clean, but also gets the point across in a very fun way. Also a merit badge for, I would say simplicity of the story because it's so, it's so realistic. It just feels like the typical teen experience. It also gets a merit badge for message. I feel like the merit, the message from this book was really, really, really good about standing up for yourself. Also how to sort of get rid of toxic relationships and how to be comfortable being yourself. And I feel like it's a really, really good message. I would love to keep this. Eventually I'd like to pick up my own copy, I guess for my future kids someday when they start getting into preteen years, I guess. I feel like it's a really good message that way. So I would give it, I mean, if you want the star rating, I gave it five stars on Goodreads just because I feel like for its age range, it was really, really good. The next book I read in the month of June was Lemon Tart by Josie S. Kilpack. Now, Lemon Tart is about this woman who her neighbor gets murdered and uh, the mystery or sur surrounding surrounding that she uh, the whole thing is that there was a lemon tart baking in her oven at the time that she was murdered I would give this book I gave it a four out of five stars on Goodreads but I would change it back to probably a three star now that I look back on it uh, the demerits for this book um, the main character the main the main uh, protagonist I guess was so obnoxious. I felt like she was so... I don't know if this is typical of sleuth novels or amateur sleuth novels. I'm not familiar with... I haven't read a lot of novels in my time. Um, I mean, the last mystery... I haven't read a lot of mystery novels, I should say, in my time. But the last mystery novel I read was Murder on the Orient Express. And he's a professional... You know, Perot's in a professional investigator, so he's supposed to be nosy. But this was an amateur sleuth who had no right to be delving into some of the things that she was doing and multiple times during the book I was I was frustrated because I'm like why are you doing that that is so stupid why are you doing this why 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 I don't know again I don't know if that's typical of amateur sleuth books or not but that was definitely a huge demerit in my book she was not only obnoxious but she was also she was also very judgmental, and the thing is, I guess what I did like about that was that she was called out on it. She was called out on it in the book by several of the characters, saying, you know, like, you are just a nosy busybody, and you who thinks they're better than everyone else. And I'm like, yes, somebody said it, thank you. Because a lot of her thoughts about, like, how women dress themselves or keep themselves, and which is sad, 
but is also very stereotypical of, I guess, women her age and all that stuff. And so it just, so she really bothered me, but I will give it a merit badge for an intriguing story. I was drawn into the story. I didn't know what happened. I felt bad for the girl who got murdered and her whole storyline. And it did really keep me going as to, you know, who done it. And it definitely tricked me into thinking it's several different people, but it's actually this other person. Of course, somebody you you wouldn't suspect from the beginning. Despite the fact that I found the character super annoying, the book did still draw me back. You know, even though I get annoyed and put the book down a few minutes later, I'd be like, okay, well, I got to see who did it, you know, so I got to see what the next clue is. And so I would keep reading it and I did finish the book. So I would give it three out of five stars, I guess, just because it was good, but it was, I don't know, there were some things that I just still didn't like about it. Next up, I read the book Furthermore by Tahara Mafi. So that's that book. I know the pictures aren't very good, but Furthermore by Tahara Mafi. So I will start off with the demerits again. I'll start off with the demerits for this book. This book gets a demerit, I feel like, for kind of a halting storyline and also very sort of repetitive when it comes to the character's thoughts and thought processes. I was, I got really tired of hearing the character's thoughts and then all of a sudden action, 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 and then hearing those almost exact same thoughts again. I felt like it was very repeated. And so I was like, okay, I get it. I found myself very irritated with those parts and anxious to move on to the next segment of action or whatever it could be or the next just the next event so whenever she would stop and have the characters be reflecting on something i was like oh again and so that was kind of obnoxious i didn't really like that but it does get merit badges for world building i thought that the world building was way fun oh the book itself is about a girl who her father goes missing and then he's been missing for three years and so she teams up with this other boy, this boy, to go and find her father in the land of Furthermore. The thing is that she's already in this magical land, so there's already its own rules and magic rules and things like that. Then she gets thrown into Furthermore, the land of Furthermore, and the rules are completely different there. And so that was really, really fun. So again, merit badge for world building. I feel like it's really, really good. I, I really enjoyed listening to her rules. It was very Alice in Wonderland to me. Uh, the rules were very, very clever sort of plays on words, but then also kind of random and just really fun. So I really, really liked that. Also, she gets a merit badge for descriptions. I loved listening to how she described things and the richness of the world, especially when she describes colors and tastes and smells. I love the way that she described those. So I'm really interested now in reading her other series, which is a middle, no, not middle grade. Uh, it's a young adult series, which is uh, the Shatter Me series. And I really liked, I really would like to read Witchwood, which has got what got me interested in reading furthermore in the first place. So altogether, I gave that one, I think about four out of five stars. I think I gave that one four out of five stars. Let me check. Yeah, because I liked it. It wasn't my favorite, but also I would actually give this one another merit badge for rereadability, or I would say readability to kids. I feel like this is a really fun book to give to middle grade and kids, you know, so it may be halting and kind of silly in some places for adults, but I would love to read this to my future kids someday. I feel like it would be a really fun read. So the next book that I read, I don't have it, I don't even have a picture of it pulled up yet. Let me pull it up. Okay, so the next book that I, I didn't get a chance to finish in the month of June, but I'm still kind of working through it. And that was The Highly Sensitive Person. I have a different book cover. Mine's the blue one. But The Highly Sensitive Person by Elaine... There we go. Elaine N. Aaron. This book was really hard to get through. And actually, I haven't finished it yet. I am about 50 pages from the end, I think. This book was... It gets a merit badge for information and sort of encouragement. And it does help with how to deal with being a highly sensitive person in the outside world. However, I give it a demerit. However, I mean, this could be seen as a good thing as well. I give it a demerit that it made me deal with some things that I didn't want to deal with. So I guess 
you know, it's a self-help book and sometimes they make you go through those things in those books. They bring up things that are just hard to deal with. It was nothing too terrible, but it was still something that was hard to read at certain points. And so I definitely have to take breaks. So I would give a warning to people who are highly sensitive and want to read this book. While it does help you, I feel like you kind of have to you kind of have to push through the first half of the book. It is full of good information, but it's more towards the later half where you are taught those skills to deal with the world, I feel like. And so I would give it, I mean, so far, again, I haven't finished it. So far, I would give it a four out of five because it is doing, it's doing its job in helping and informing, but it's hard to get through because it's sometimes harsh in some places and some things that you have to deal with. So The Highly Sensitive Person, again, it's one that I would recommend and I've been marking it up and writing in it and stuff. So it's definitely one that I would I will revisit and go back in and look at some of those notes and some of that advice that it gives you on being a highly sensitive person. So I haven't quite finished that one yet, so I guess technically it shouldn't be part of my wrap up, but that's my experience so far reading that book. The next book is uh, a book that I finished in July. So I finished it in July. I finished it just a couple of days ago, but I'm still going to count it because it was part of my TBR for June. So I finished Brandon Sanderson's Warbreaker. So if you don't know what this book is about, it's a little tricky to describe, but this girl is essentially sent to marry the God King of another city. She's a princess and she's sent to go marry the God King. And uh, that's about all I can give you. It's really hard to describe. The magic system has to do with breaths or breathing and colors. So you have a breath inside you. Everybody has a breath, but you can give up your breath and it basically gives somebody else more power, whoever you give your breath to. And you get these certain powers, the more breaths you have. And it's really, really cool. So I loved this book. I, I, I super loved this book. So demerits first. Demerits, um, it's pretty slow. Demerits, there are some things that I, I have little patience for and sometimes political intrigue really irks me because I'm like, oh my gosh, people are so two-faced or I'm like, oh, what do they actually mean? and all that stuff. So it's a bit of a slow burn, but the merit badge that really saved it for me were the characters. The merit badge for characters definitely goes to this one because the reason why I kept going was because of the characters and I wanted to find out what was going to happen to them. Uh, were they going to survive? Uh, who, who were they? There's a mystery there that who were they before? and you know what's going to happen with the princess and the god king and all that stuff the romance it gets a ba merit badge for romance the romance in it again i don't want to spoil anything i really really enjoyed it because i felt like it was a very sweet romance oh what else brandon sanderson's writing like he has a really good way with conversations i feel like that are very interesting but at the same time he does i feel like he does kind of have a habit of things just going in circles or, you know, I'm just like, okay, I don't get what they mean. And it gets frustrating after a while, but his world building and magic systems, again, it gets a merit badge for those as well. Just crazy amounts of awesome world building and culture and religion. Ooh, that was another thing. So merit badge for, I don't know what you'd call this, but it gets a merit badge for the fact that I love the way that it talked about religion in this and how how you shouldn't judge somebody for how the the way that they live just because they live differently from you because there's two different religions actually three different religions technically in this book that are constantly butting heads with each other and he pulls out those questions and those conversations and those doubts that these characters have and you know these doubts of conscious and you know doubt doubting their religion and all that kind of stuff that i feel like are very real and very applicable to your own life you know they they're kind of things that are like oh yeah i never really thought about that especially not necessarily questioning your own religion but dealing with other people who are outside that religion or believe something else i feel like that we could all take a note out of that out of this book on how to deal with people like that who don't believe the same things that we do and uh, you know in any way shape or form i feel like that this was a, a very good learning 
lesson in that way. But other than that, again, the characters I think were my favorite thing about this book that really kept me going. And I was actually, I finished it on the 4th of July and I was reading it. I was finishing it while we were watching the parade. And I just, I just kept grabbing my husband and being like, oh my gosh, this just happened. Oh my gosh, this just happened. So even though he knows everything that's happening in the book, he's actually reading it right now. And again, this was, I think Warbreaker was my favorite book that I read um, technically for my TBR for the month of June. So that's what I read in the month of June. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys like the demerits and merit badges? Do you guys want to see little symbols? I I really would like to do that. I would like to start making, actually making these merit badges and just popping them up here for you guys and just being like, merit badge for plotline. And then in the end, I'd love to show you guys how many merit badges um, a book receives and how many demerits a book receives. But yeah, I feel like out of all the books that I read in the month of June, I would reread Warbreaker. I would reread The Highly Sensitive Person, maybe just skimming through it and re, you know, re-picking up that information. Um, I would read smile and furthermore to my kids. I would love, I mean someday when I have kids, I would love to give those to my kids someday. Um, Lemon Tart, I don't know if I would reread that one. She was just too obnoxious and you know knowing the mystery already I just the writing wasn't enough for me to come back to it. I would like to continue the series and see if she gets better like the character herself if she grows or maybe the writing gets a little bit better, but I do like the mysteries and I think they're kind of fun, cute, light, fluffy mysteries. That's what I read for the month of June. Um, my July TBR, I'm gonna be filming in just a couple minutes and I will talk to you guys later. As always, thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.